New this morning, Incoming News Nation host Chris Cuomo has released the latest episode of his podcast. In this latest episode, it was out just moments ago, Cuomo talks with actor Alec Baldwin, who is a challenging a report claiming he pulled the trigger of a gun on the Rust movie set, killing cinematographer Helena Hutchinson. We are now also learning that the shooting is now being called an accident. Aaron Nolan joins us now with more on what Baldwin had to say. Good morning, Aaron. Yeah, Mitch, good morning to you. It dropped about an hour ago on the YouTube channel of our Chris Cuomo and his podcast, The Chris Cuomo Project. He talked with Alan Ball, uh, with Alec Baldwin, rather, about the day that he shot and killed Helena Hutchins. And this conversation was just hours after the FBI said there is no way the gun would have fired without someone pulling the trigger. Something Baldwin has said he actually never did. But here's Chris asking Baldwin directly, what is the real story? You say you never pulled the trigger, but the gun went off. Right. You do the ABC interview, and it was kind of left there. That will right. not make sense to people. If a bullet comes out of a gun, they say, well, then someone fired. You're familiar it. It your with hands. this did not come from me. This came from the DA's office themselves. You're familiar with what fanning a gun is. Have you heard of that phrase, fanning a gun? Yes, but... Explain so if it. you pull the hammer back and you don't lock the hammer, if you pull the hammer back pretty far, in old Western movies, you'd see someone fan the hammer of the gun. The hammer didn't lock. You pulled it back to an extent where it would fire the bullet without you pulling the trigger, without you locking the hammer. The man who's the principal safety officer on the set of the film declared that the gun was safe when he handed it to me. The person who was the principal safety officer of the film declared in front of the entire assemblage, this is a cold gun. Now, why did he say that? If he didn't know, if he hadn't checked. The point is, all of us were told that everything was cool and you can relax and we're working with a gun that's safe to rehearse with. But he explained it to me effectively that that's exactly what can happen if you pull a hammer back and let it go. If there's a live round. See, there's only one question to ask here. Who put a live round in the gun? That's it. There is no other question to ask. The FBI's latest report has been sent to the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office, which is leading this investigation. Baldwin's lawyer has called the FBI's new findings misconstrued, adding the prop gun was in poor condition. Now, at the time of the shooting, Baldwin was practicing with that gun, as he just talked to Chris about. No one has been charged in the death of Hutchins or the injury to the movie's director, Joel Sosa. The investigation continues. For more of that interview, of course, you can check out our website. Guys, back to you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.